think. Act and prosper. You are now tuned in to the Money Level Show. Yeah, so 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 what's uh, so you know thinking of like what's practical. Uh, what what do you think is like practical in how um, our central banks, um, you know, the government can fight inflation? I mean, I, I know that reducing the money supplies is uh, one of those things that um, people say. You know, inflation. I mean, even Milton Friedman talked about inflation being, you know, uh, infl- uh, inflating the money supply as well as like you know when we had other forms of money whether that was tobacco or, or, or you know, it, it, things of that nature, calorie shells and, and such. Uh, so wh- what do you think is practical? Um, Boy, that's right? a hard question, Daryl. I think we waited too long. Uh, I think we're going to have to have a reckoning. I don't mean a reckoning necessarily like a biblical reckoning. <clears throat> but it seems to me that we need to undo uh, the excesses, both the economic excesses and, frankly, the psychological excesses that we've built up in our society for the last 40 years. There's an expectation now among the populace that the government ought to solve our problems. And I think that we need to purge ourselves of that expectation because that expectation is the bedrock of inflation. The practical method for dealing with inflation, well, there's always been two through, through recorded history. The first is to have a recession or depression. <laughs> you, you, uh, you know, if too many people at a party are getting too drunk on the vodka, you take the punch away, right? Uh, and that ends the party pretty quick. Uh, uh, the other is maybe a variant of the first, which is to say you reduce the stimulant uh, and you raise interest rates. The circumstance that we're in right now uh, where the money that you get paid on your savings uh, is so much below the deterioration of the purchasing power of the currency means that you almost have to spend, that you almost have to borrow. Uh, a long-term bond like the U.S. 10-year Treasury, uh, jokingly, is a certificate of guaranteed confiscation. They pay you 2.3% in a currency that's depreciating by 8.6%. You are absolutely guaranteed to lose 6% compounded. Curing inflation uh, through government would be allowing the interest rate to rise to the point where there was a real yield on savings products. Uh, What that means is if the U.S. 10-year treasury is at 8.6%, in order to generate a real yield, the yield on the U.S. 10-year treasury would have to be something like 9% or 9.5%. And believe me, uh, a 9.5% interest rate, which would translate to maybe a 10.5% first mortgage rate, would cure inflation really quickly. It would cure inflation while resulting in a lot of foreclosures uh, for people who were on variable rate mortgages. Uh, it would keep a lot of first-time home buyers out of the market until they'd accumulated enough capital that they could put down a substantial down payment. It would uh, cut consumer spending, and it would result in a lot of unemployment. So slaying the inflation dragon means undoing all of the excesses in society that have occurred as a consequence of people psychologically relying on government uh, and government uh, relying on financing current lifestyles at the expense of our children and grandchildren. So I really think they're between a rock and a hard place. And uh, the reason why I've mumbled on so long, Daryl, is I'm not smart enough to have a real answer for you. I mean, I don't know how they get themselves out of this fix. <laughs> <laughs> 